Hello everybody, my name is Caroline. Thanks for joining me for this video on how to create effects for Instagram or Facebook. Let me start by giving you a quick demo of how effects work. And I'm on my Facebook page. I'm gonna create a post and then I'm going to go into live video. And then on the bottom left corner, there's a magic wand with a star on top. I'm gonna to press that and there are different effects that I can create. Okay, here is the mirror effect. Here is a balloon effect. So there are tons of different ones. There's one for your face. There is a pencil sketch one. There's just a ton of different options. And I've created my own, so I'll show off my own right here. And this is the heart sunglasses that I have created. And I can just hit start live video and broadcast to my friends. The other option is just to send a picture. So to send a picture, I would scroll down to camera and then I would hit the smiley face in the bottom right corner. And that brings up all the effects. So here's an effect and I'm going to scroll over and I'm going to look for the effect I made. It's right here and it's heart sunglasses. And there we go. And I can just take a picture and then I can either save it to my camera roll or I can hit next and then uh, publish it as a post on my Facebook profile. Uh, that is for Facebook. That's how you do effects on Facebook. Now let's say you didn't want to scroll through all of them. You do have to be friends with me in order to get that heart sunglasses one, but let's say you don't want to. There is a link. It's a public link and if you have the link, which I will provide below then, uh, put in the link. It's going to say open this face page in Facebook. I'm going to click open and there it is and it just comes right up and it's off of your Facebook app and this is my effect right here so this is normal so I can take a picture and then or I'm going to discard I don't like that picture or I can make a video and then hold this down and that's how I make a video there we go and I can save that and uh, that's how I would post that to my Facebook feed. So that's an overview of how to get effects in Facebook. And you can do this without actually doing anything I do in this video. I'm just showing you how to use the effects that are available now that people have already made that are publicly available on Facebook to make your Facebook posts just that much better. Yes. Okay. Anyway, that is Facebook. Now let's move on to Instagram. I know that's everybody's favorite social media right now. I'm going to click on Instagram and then from the feed, the regular feed, I'm going to swipe right and there's the camera. Now I'm going to uh, hit the smiley face in the bottom right corner and now there are uh, effects. And uh, these are uh, Instagram effects that they have already created here. So let's say you didn't put on any mascara this morning. I am going to put on some eyelashes right now. Look at me. Yes. Okay. So that is um, an effect what you can do and you can just take a picture and then you can uh, send it to your close friends. Now, let me show you something kind of cool. If you follow Rihanna on Instagram, you can get the Rihanna effect and I'm going to, uh, this is my account and I'm going to hit the smiley face and then I'm going to hit the diamond. And this is the Rihanna effect and it, it comes up. It wasn't there before when I was on a different Instagram account. Now that I'm on my Instagram account and I'm following Rihanna, this is the diamonds uh, Rihanna effect that you can get once you follow Rihanna on Instagram. And then you can post it to your feed. That is an effect that you can get today uh, that are publicly available on your Facebook or Instagram today. My video is about how to create these effects, send them to Facebook or Instagram and get them approved, maybe, hopefully, and uh, be able to publish your own effects. We do this through a, an application that you can download onto your computer, Mac or PC, and it's called Spark AR. It's a relatively new platform. It's put out there by Facebook. Spark AR, completely free to download, free to install, free to use on your Mac or PC computer. And what I'm going to do in this video is give you a tour of Spark AR and then I'm going to do lab number one. Why am I doing this? Well, I hosted a Spark AR workshop last weekend and I thought it'd be great if I just recorded myself going through the lab again, you know, with the nice screenshot and everything. So anybody who missed my workshop could get that. And I figured you guys on YouTube might appreciate learning Spark AR as well. Uh, so let's get started. 
Now you can access this on Spark AR Studio, sparkar.facebook.com forward slash AR dash studio. I will link to it below. And with this, you can download Spark AR for free onto your computer. The entire application is free for Mac users and Windows users. They have those uh, versions and then you can also get the test app so you can see what it looks like on your phone on the app store or on the google play store as well and to in order to access that you will need a data cable that connects your computer to your phone here um, so but it does work on android and on ios that's very exciting so you will need a free usb port or uh, available usb port on your computer and then you can connect it to your phone and then i will show you how to do that later on in this tutorial. Essentially what you'll need to do to get started is you'll need to download Spark AR onto your desktop laptop computer. I'm gonna open up Spark AR so that you can see it. And this is what it looks like when I open Spark AR Studio. So there are express tutorials, there are samples, and there are recent projects. So let's say I haven't done any recent projects. This is just brand new. This is what it would look like. What I would recommend for you to do is to get started is to go through these glasses, tutorials and animated boombox tutorial just to kind of get a feel for it. What I'm going to cover in my series of videos is actually a quick start lab and the quick start labs the screens. I, I do have a second screen over here just to, um, so that I can refer to stuff while I'm making this video. But I'm gonna go into this quick start lab and I'm gonna walk you through these quick start labs. This is what I did uh, last weekend when I was teaching the workshop with a beginner newbie crowd that never used Spark AR before and we were all able to get through at least number one of the quick start lab in a very short amount of time. Uh, so this is what I'm gonna go through today. I'm gonna go through all of these steps there are one, two, and three. There are three quick start labs that I'll be covering, not all in this video as we go through this. And you may need to, when I clicked on this earlier, it did ask me to log in to Facebook. So you will need a personal Facebook account in order to get to this page. It just didn't show it. There's a ton of resources. So if you're not interested in Spark AR, fine. Then click on HTML5 or React 360 and look at those resources. And within Spark AR, they've got Spark AR Studio, Spark AR Impact. So the first three links on the left here, Spark AR Studio, Impact, and Developers, that's, that's information, giving you background information into what Spark, Spark AR is. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and just jump into the Quick Start Lab here, and let's do lab number one right now. And we're gonna start with Spark AR Studio. So this is Spark AR Studio, it's downloaded and installed on my computer, just like any other application. And I'm gonna hit Create Project. So we're creating a brand new project out of the box. And this is the out of box. This is what it looks like if you haven't made any changes. This is when you've, essentially, you've just done a fresh install of Spark AR. And just to walk you kind of through this just a little bit, the first question I got in my workshop is, who is this lady right here? And why is she moving around? Is this my friend? Uh, no, I do not know this lady personally. What this is, is they have models for you when you are running this so you can demo this. Because a lot of this is based on selfies on, on your face. And so on the video, you click on video here, you can change the face to anything you want. And so these are the uh, faces. And then if your effect is based on a plane, doesn't need a face, you can click on blank video. But here they are, here are the faces you can choose from. Now, to test it, you can use your own face. So I'm gonna use my camera that is on top of my computer here. And here we are, and uh, yeah, there it is. So there I have put my face on here as well. And that is one way of testing it. And I'm gonna switch it to back to the default lady here. And you also get to choose your phone too because it looks a little bit different. The cameras are a little bit different on every single phone. So for iOS, you can do iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 10, and there you go. Uh, so you can see what it looks like based on the different configurations of the cameras. They, they also have Android phones here. Let's say you've got an Android Galaxy 9. And there it is. That's what it would look like on a, on a Galaxy 9. 
All right, so I'm gonna switch this back to iPhone 8. That was the default. If you're tired of her making faces of you, you can just hit pause. And then when you wanna restart it, you hit play again. And then basically there's scenes and there's layers. So if you're familiar with AutoCAD or graphic design, there's always layers that you put on top of each other. So it starts with one layer and one scene and there are things, assets that you import. So let's just jump right in and let's do quick start lab number one. The first thing we're gonna do is uh, something called install a face tracker. You can press the insert button up here and then the first thing that comes up is face tracker and you can hit insert. Now there's several ways to go about doing this. You can also right click on device and then mouse over to face tracker and hit that. That's, that's generally the faster way of doing it. Uh, but here we go. So not step number one, install a face tracker. All right, let's hit play again. Let's see if anything happens. All right, so she's still just kind of moving her head around. That's fine. And the th next thing we need to do is install a face mesh. So we're gonna have a mesh over her face and we are gonna go back over here, insert face mesh. And there we go. There is a mesh over her face right now. This checkerboard pattern on her face means she has a mesh, but she doesn't have a material. She doesn't have what is going to be on her face. Let's put something on her face right now. So we're gonna do something called add material. We need to highlight face mesh because that's what we're working on right now. And, and when we highlight face mesh, on the right hand side, there's something called the inspector. On the right hand side, it's, you see it says face mesh zero. And then we can uh, go down to material. We wanna add some sort of material to her face. We're gonna hit the plus button. It automatically just defaults a material. And if you click over here, you'll see default material. So now there's a default material and the, the default color of the material, I guess is a, it's kind of white, white color here. So now let's click on default material. You'll see in the inspector on the right hand side, you'll see it says default material. And then you can decide how you want her face mesh to look. See there's standard, there is flat. You can change the color. So let's go back to standard. Let's say I don't like this white color and they're different choices here. Let's say I want green. There we go. It's green. And then you can change the shader type to face paint. This is a little bit more realistic, but then, you know, what happened to my green color? You want to go back, you want to hit face paint type color. And there we go. The color is purple now. So you can change that back to green. I had a group, they really like cyan. So we had a cyan face paint. Now I can change the shader type to physically based. And of course the color disappeared again. And the instructions say, now I'm gonna check the box next to environment. So I'm creating an environment and the texture, and I'm gonna do a preset, environment texture preset, and I'm gonna hit office. And now the way the, it's reflecting on her face is as if she were in an office. And now there are several sliders here, uh, surface parameters. So if you want it to be more metallic, you can slide that over. If you want it to be rough, slide that over. And then if you want more occlusion, slide that over as well too. So you can play around with these until you get it to where you want the face mesh to be. But what's really cool is that it follows your face around and wherever she moves, it works. So let's try it on me. So I'm gonna hit video, hit camera, and here I am, hello. I'm wearing the face mesh. We have completed the tutorial, the Spark AR tutorial for number one, but we're not done yet. What we're gonna do now is you wanna see this on your phone and to test it out. Here, all right, change this back and I'm gonna plug in my phone to my computer. Yes, you will need to connect your phone to your computer. I plugged it in right here. Oh yeah, if you wanna save your file, so we can do file save just like any other file. I do recommend that. Let's, and where do you wanna save it to? I'm gonna save it, I'm gonna call this uh, lab one. Call this lab one, save to my desktop. All right, so it's called lab one now. Now I've got the Spark AR app open on my phone and I'm gonna click this mirror button right here in the top right hand corner and whoa there it goes okay it is it automatically transferred that file onto my spark ar app now i can just unplug my phone it's still going to work right here i can take a picture i can record a video and you will need to record a video using this spark ar player in order to submit to facebook for approval so i'll say hey this is my 
submission. So you save that. It's going to automatically save onto your phone. Let's make a make a change here. This to face paint. All right. So we let's and then let's change it to color. And then we're going to change. Okay, we've changed the color now. So you want to put that on your phone. Reconnect the phone. Click the mirror button again. And there it is. And now the new one is now on my phone. Now let's say I want to go back to the older one. I hit the menu button at the top left hand corner, lab one, and then I'll go back to the older version and there it is. So it saves it all onto your phone and then you want to show somebody later on, you have every version saved and that's how you do it. And that is tutorial number one on how to create a face mesh, uh, put a color on it and then get it on your phone. I'm going to stop here for now, give you a chance to practice this, and then I'll come back in my next video and we'll do uh, lab number two. So this is lab number two, replace the background. And then in another video, we will do lab number three. And then I'll follow up with how you can submit on Facebook for approval. I hope you'll join me for this series. Thank you so much for watching that first video and I'll see you next time. Please subscribe. Bye now.